Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today I want to talk to you guys about 99.9 .9 overall, as well as give you guys the insights on my new favorite build in the game. I would honestly say that this is the best build to me in the game. A lot of people have their opinions about what's the best build. I even seen people talking about a 6-2 build. I would never go that low in height, but honestly, this is all about 99.9. .9. I'm gonna give you the steps if you guys don't know, but I'm also gonna give you guys my gripes with 99.9 .9 overall in the system that it takes to get there and to hold that spot. So it's a lot gonna be going down in this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I also wanna just say thank you to everyone who's been supporting me like crazy. Um, people who have been coming to my Facebook streams and just chilling with me for like four to six hours daily. I wanna thank everybody who's been coming past the videos, dropping likes, uh, dropping comments, giving me dialogue to talk about in video comments, as well as shout out to all the people who have been um, very active in the community tab. I've actually started to use that more to communicate with you guys because I noticed like, if I drop a comment in one video, some people may not see that video and they actually want to be a part of a conversation. So the community tab is where we'll do that from here on out. So whenever I have a question for you guys, whether it's what type of video I want to make, um, thoughts on my mind about NBA, the game, life, whatever the case may be, I'll drop it over on the community tab. So make sure you guys check out the community tab. Make sure you turn on notifications. I believe if you turn on notifications and turn on all, you'll see those community tab posts as well. But let's go ahead and hop into the video. Now, the current player that you are looking at is a 99.7 overall. Believe it or not, it takes four to four and a half hours for a person that is 95 overall to become 99.9 .9 overall if they play my career. Now, this video is not geared for bigs. If you are a big that cannot shoot, I advise you to play rec center with a team, not with randoms, okay? Please play with the team. I advise you to do so. All right, now, let's go ahead and hop into step one. All right, step one, you want to get takeover as fast as possible. Now, if you're a slasher, this is going to be super duper easy because all you have to do is play defense and slash to the rim. If you're a shooter, it's even more easy because all you have to do is call for a fake screen from a shooter and shoot the ball when the CPU backs up. Super duper easy, man. Now, for step two, you want to run that score up. You want to be leading by 25 by the third quarter, all right? Now, remember, I told you guys, you want to get takeover as fast as possible, and you want to lead. This method for this actual game against the Knicks, which I'll be playing against the Knicks and Nets in this video. For the Knicks, I decided to shoot the ball. For the Nets, I decided to slash, and I'll show you guys that later in this video. Now, the best thing about this build is that it's two-dimensional, which means I can score in the paint, and I can score from behind the three, and the funny thing about it is I'm a demon on defense as well. You know what I mean? So I really do love this build. And I can tell you guys right now, the slashing takeover is literally the best takeover in the game. If you're making a build in 2020 on 2K20, please make it with a slashing takeover. Now, for step three, you want to sim out of VC and make sure that you play like a 99.9. .9. All you got to do is be up 25 get takeover at least once within the first and second quarter and you will play like a 99.9 .9 every single time now in the beginning of this video i told you that i was at a 99.7 overall and i will show you guys at the end of this game that i not only do i play like a 99.9 .9, but i'm also going to be showing you guys my attributes and why we have a step forward to this i know that a lot of people probably think oh the video is over it's only three steps to it this is all you need this is not all you need it's a big misconception to playing like a 99 overall and hitting 99.9 .9 and actually getting the attribute boost that you actually need because i've seen other youtubers videos and they really never tell you this they never tell you about that extra step as you guys see here my attributes are still the same i'm a 99.9 .9. so that's why we actually have to hop into step four you have to play one more game after reaching 99.9 .9 for the final attribute boost for the plus one to the attributes now let's talk to 2k for a moment people this is the part of the video where I can just get ratchet. I can go ahead and just let loose, let my shoulders loose real quick. So the reason why I have a super problem with this is because the system is broken. Now, for a big, 
I know a lot of bigs out there, man. They love this system because they get to play like a 99 every game. And the reason for that is interior defense, not only is it broken, it's actually buffed as far as rep goes. So if a player is contesting uh, layups, contesting dunks, getting rebounds, bumping people in the paint, uh, setting screens, their rep is just going through the roof. A big can play with the A to an A plus almost every game. And it's sickening that if you're a guard and you score 35 in a rec, you might play like a 99.1. You will never, ever, ever as a guard play like a 99.9 in this game online. And that is sickening, guys. So when I tell you that this is the easiest way to get 99.9, it is. But there's no way that you will actually be able to keep this online forever. So when I tell y'all about me getting my 99.9 and hitting my plus one attribute boost where my player will be able to speed boost, he'll be able to elite contact dunk, he'll be a demon on defense, and he can shoot from everywhere on the court, that's only at 99.9. I can do some of those things, but I have to fill up my takeover bar after like i think you have to get it to about the e and takeover and then i'll be able to speed boost and stuff like that it's, it's pretty bad man so when you get to 95 overall you start the plus one boost right but it fluctuates and i don't know why they put a rep system within my career grinding and gave us a rep system for online like i really really hope that they take this out of the game because it's terrible it doesn't work for guards at all you will never ever play like a 99.9 and i know that i'm ranting and saying the same exact things but it pisses me off i'm sorry guy it really really does man the, that one thing that 2K put in this game, it really made me mad because I used to be like, man, I don't even really care about 99 overall. Then I started seeing how my player actually played the higher he got in overall. And I was like, I need it. I need it. And why is 2K doing this to me? We actually played Wreck with the Cell Squad the other day. And I dropped from a 98 to a 97 with this build. And I was pissed off because when I dropped from 98 to 97, I felt like my player was totally different. It, 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 literally, one attribute bar upgrade to this character felt like he played completely different. It was ridiculous, and I don't know how that happened, man. But as you guys see here, I played like a 99.9 overall with the same method. I just decided to slash in this video, opposed to me shooting threes against the Knicks. And now it's time for me to show you guys my progression and show you my final attributes in the upgrade. So check it out. This now is my build at 99.9 overall with all the caps on it. Got an 88 driving dunk, 87 three-point shot, 86 ball handle. Oh my God, this player is a demon. Not only that, I got an 80 perimeter defense. If this isn't literally one of the best builds in the game, I don't know what is. But I also did sleep on the physicals. I slept on the speed and the acceleration. I went for the vertical. But I may remake this build in that image. But I will keep them at the same height, which is 6'5", and keep them at the same wingspan, which I think is minimum. Now, these badges that I have for finishing is how I get my contact dunks. If you don't have your badges set up like this as a slasher, I don't know what's wrong with you, man. Easily the best, man. I've seen D-Man do it. These badges set up like this is perfect, okay? Now, as far as shooting badges go, I went with all Hall of Fame badges just because I'm a super perfectionist. Like, I didn't want to go with gold, but some of these badges only need gold. Like, Range Extender and Quick Draw are definitely Hall of Fame badges, but Green Machine Dead Eye High Zone Hunter could be gold. I could have another gold badge. I think the other one that I would probably have would be Clutch Shooter because I play a lot of park games, and if you're at the park, once they score about 11 points, Clutch Shooter activate after every single shot. Catch and Shoot is on bronze just because it's a placebo badge, all right? Now, as far as playmaking goes, you need that bell out on bronze, man. If you ain't got that bell out on bronze, something wrong with you. A lot of us pass out of our shots. You know we do. You know we be about to take them terrible shots. You know what I mean? But all my other badges are set up for me. My badges are not set up for other people. I do not have dimer. I do not have floor general. I could care less about passing to my teammates. My teammates know they jump shots. They need to hit their shots on their own, not with me. Now, on defense... I call myself a little demon. I don't know why, but clamps on gold is great. Intimidator, Intimidator on gold is great. Chase down artists and rim protector on bronze are the two most slept on badges. You need those two badges to get chase down blocks when people beat you with a blow by, all right? 
but i want to thank everybody for hitting the, uh the like on this video i want to thank y'all for watching make sure to leave a comment let me see what you guys think about this build and the actual 99.9 .9 overall grind see you guys next time